Okay. In this series, let's talk about uh, default or standard light ST, standard light in Cinema 4D. Because uh, we have native redshift, native redshift uh, render plugin here that you go into the settings and go into render setting. And when this is a standard, if you go to the redshift, everything change to uh, redshift <coughs> lights. So change it to the standard. And now all the things change to ST means standard. And if you holding your mouse here, you can open it. This is our light system that I want to explain it because in the next series, I want to explain the material. <clears throat> it's very important. So it's very simple and you can learn it. Uh, in this lesson, I want to explain just a, uh, different type of the lighting here except physical because i want to explain it in environment this is an environment that i will explain it in the future uh, first you can uh, insert the light from <clears throat> here this is omni light if you click it as you can see the whole scene let's first delete it go in here and deleted as we can see we have a default light in uh, the scene this is a default light you can search here <coughs> default light here it's default light if you double click to open it this is a default light as you can see we have a sphere here that you can click and drag it and as you can see the default light will be changed in a scene but it's very old and you, you don't need to change it this is an specular that I explained it in the material you are before. As you can see, we have a simple <coughs> light here. Then, if you go in here and insert a light, this is unlike a lamp. It means omni light. It's a point light. <coughs> and as you can see, whole scene turned to black because just we have a light here. As you can see, with the disk gizmo, you can uh, change it and bring it there. This is our first light that you can create and as you can see in the object manager we have light and as you can see we have a lot of tab for the sitting for the light that i want to explain it uh, all, all of them so in this lesson just i want to introduce all kind of the light that you want to create okay first thing that i want to explain it here it's a type you can directly bring all kind of the our type of the lights here or you can change it from there for example this is an omni light you can turn it to the spotlight as you can see this is another type of the light till, uh, called spotlight the omni light is a point light that's uh, emitting the light from all direction and as you can see you can copy it and paste it and bring it anywhere that you want can change the color or anything that you want <clears throat> but uh, you can change the type of the omni to the spot from there or you can hold in your mouse and bring another spotlight here right this is a spotlight you can turn the omni light off and as you can see this is our spotlight that you can change the coin angle here the radius of that and here you can uh, come and rotate the spotlight. As you can see, you can rotate. This is a spotlight. Then you can turn on <clears throat> the shadow or anything that you want. And you can move it if you want. But this is a coin uh, spotlight. Another light that you can insert it or change it from the type. All of the settings in all of this type of the <clears throat> light are the same. Another interesting that uh, light is a target light. Then the target light is exactly on a uh, spotlight, but it has a target in its um, end of this coin. And as you can see in the object manager, go into the view size large. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have an, a light target that you can uh, change it. And as you can see, it's better. It's better than a spotlight. As you can see, this is a null object. 
the Cinema 4D created for you. You can change it to the sphere or cube if you want. And it's there, you can make it bigger. And now here it's, it's very simple. You can uh, click it and change the target. As you can see, the spotlight, the source of the spotlight is there. You can change it also. And as you can see, it's always pointed to the its target and it's very simple to use. <clears throat> this is a target spotlight. And as you can see, the Cinema 4D uh, add a target to that. That I explained all of the tagged tags later. <clears throat> Another type of, I will be explaining all of the settings. The best um, type of the lighting is area light. This is an area light. And as you can see, the area light is a square or any shape that you want. As you can see with these points, you can <clears throat> change the sizes and if you render if you click in here render simple render you can see that we have a gap here because the area light is a two-sided one side and another so that's how we explain how to render it how to all of its settings there nice this is an area light that you can simply <coughs> rotate it like this and for seeing that effects you have to render it careful about this line that I explained. This is an area light that you can change the position of that and you can render it. As you can see, we have a nice smooth light there because of the in <coughs> lights. The PBR light, I explained it later in a separate lesson. The IS light, if you click it from here, uh, for example, it opens the window and tells you, please um, target me the IES folder that you have. You can uh, download a lot of IES lights from internet and open them. These are IES lights. These are here. These are IES, IES lights. Interesting. Okay. They are famous and you know them. Or, or you can create an Omni light, Omni light. I bring one of them here, and uh, you can change it to IES. And in a photometric, I will explain that. In the file name, go your PC and bring one of these IES. And as you can see, you can. Uh, have a preview here and as you can see this is direction of the IES so bring it there and as you can see you have to come and rotate 900 degree and this is of IES light that we use a lot in, a, in our rendering this is an IES light that I explained them another type of the <coughs> lights is infinite light the infinite light, it means it's here, you can bring it up. And as you can see, <clears throat> the light is comes from infinite, from here to the door. If you select it, you have to rotate it to see it. As you can see, you can rotate it. And as you can see, the, po the rotation is important. The position of this is not important. The, just the direction of this is important. It means from infinite, the light from go goes from here to the door. So you can rotate it in this degree. As you can see, the rotation of that is very important. This is an infinite light. Nice. Another light that is a sunlight and the physical sky that I will explain it in environment series. This is, I call them environment. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, if you select the light from here, if you select the light from here, select it and go to the general tab. And as you can see, <clears throat> we have some other type of the uh, spotlight, square spot. As you can see, this is a square spot. I bring it to the wall. You can rotate it. Yeah, This is a square. The simple spotlight has a circle. 
in its end, but it's in a square. It's one kind of spotlight. Or you can make it a parallel. The parallel uh, light is looks like uh, infinite, but and as you can see, it has a limitation in, in at start and end. Infinite lights, for example, if you change it to the infinite light, as you can see, whole scene will be lighted. But if you change it to the parallel, just we have an, as you can see, a limit at the end of a star that you can uh, use it if you want. Another light is parallel, parallel spot. That's like a sphere, actually. Just you can, it's like this, you can use it. In some project, we use it, for example, like a laser cut or anything that you can use it. So changing the shape, a square polar spot, we change like this. Okay. There's all kind of spots like that. You can change the uh, type. Okay. This is very simple. All kind of the lights. And in the next lessons, we are going to all of its settings. Tab one by one. As you can see, we have a lots of interesting tabs here that I want to explain them, explain them in the next lessons. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.